Good afternoon. Welcome to our UR Cone live tour of Walton Hall. My name is Courtney. I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas, and I'm from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask me any questions about the campus or the city. And recording for us today is Channing. I'll let her introduce herself. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Channing. I'm a senior communication major at the University of Arkansas. I'm from Springdale, Arkansas, which is right next door. So I love this area. You chose a great um, area to live in. So I'll be behind the camera today. So if you have any questions, um, please comment them throughout the video and we will answer those for you guys. So before we kind of walk around, I just want to point out that that big building right here <laughs> is the football stadium. So you literally just cross the street to get to games. Um, doesn't really get more convenient than that. Um, so that's awesome. And then the hyper is also just right over there. You can see it and walk to it from here, which is um, an awesome place on campus because there's a gym and a pool and just a lot of resources for all of our students to use. So it's really awesome. And then also on the other side, so not this street, but over there is the Union, um, which is also like the center of campus. Really cool to be by. There's a lot of restaurants and stuff in there. So Do you have a favorite restaurant in the Union? Flying Burrito. Mm, and Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I, I'm kind of obsessed with flying burrito right now. That's a good one. Their rice bowls. Really good. Yeah, <laughs> and point. there's Chick-fil-A in there. There's a burger place. Italian um, place. They just redid it. There's a lot. Yeah. Definitely um, worth going to. And you can use meal trade there at night. So you can just use one of your swipes and then go eat there for dinner. Very convenient. Yeah. So there's a stadium. There's also another place here called the Food Pantry. Um, we're not going to go in there, but it is available. That's a good place as well. Here, you can show me the one. So we do have a fog system for security. It's really awesome. When you um, move in, you'll get a fog. So we are on the north side right now. There's north and south. Where's everybody from who's tuning in? Different places around Arkansas, Texas, anywhere else? This is room number what, 124. So each of the rooms here, it's a, it's a single. There's one bed, but they're connected by a bathroom um, on the north side. I'll take those keys. Yeah, thank you. So you've got built-in desk and shelving, and there's also more shelving in that corner. If you want to show. These rooms are super spacious, so. Yeah. And chilly right now, like really cold. Yeah, they're very cold right now. <laughs> so air conditioning works. Air conditioning works well. Here. <laughs> so you got a nice little cubby for your bed, and you have a sink. Also this is like an amazing cabinet, kind of cool. Um, closet, clean bag, and then this is the bathroom, so they're connected. Mm -hmm. Jack and Jill style, I think they're called. Yes, Jack and Jill. And then the room over here is just the same. With my love, I'll turn on the light. You can have a lot of rooms if you want to bring like more furniture, like a chair, a bean bag, or really whatever you want. And you're welcome to check the cheat sheet. How many people live here? Uh, 152. Yes. <laughs> upperclassmen. It is upperclassmen. Yes. So. And open during the breaks as well. Yes. So you don't have to worry about um, going or getting out for spring break or for winter yeah. break. You can always stay here if you want. But I love how spacious these rooms are. Yeah. All singles, as I recall. All singles. Oh, 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is July in Arkansas. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hot out here today. So over here is one of the many um, open areas for <laughs> students to use. There's this giant whiteboard, and then just sitting. This um, building in particular has a lot of just like open space for you to use if you live here, which is really nice. Yeah. Awesome for studying, and if you have like group study groups, I know a lot of people do that. So it's a good good place to come out. Now you lived on campus, right? I did. I lived in Reed. Okay. And I like I prefer to study in the residence hall just because uh, I mean I don't like walking to the library from the AC, but <laughs> you always have that option if you choose to do so. But I think it's nice to have the option, especially people who stay up late and study and don't want to be like walking late at night. Um but just studying in the spot on the night. Channing, what kind of study are you? Last minute or oh. highly prepared weeks in advance? Highly prepared nice. weeks in advance. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I try. Cool. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So this is just one of the laundry rooms. There's many laundry rooms here, but um, you have your ice machine, and then you can see the scans and the numbers on these machines. Um, it's actually for our app, which is called Laundry Alert. Um, which the information board's on the wall, but it's really convenient because it will just tell you um, whether the machines are in use or not, so you don't have to come down and check. And then if you put in the number of the machine that you're using, it'll send you a notification whenever your laundry's done, so you don't have to sit down and wait on it. So that's really nice. And then there's a lot of laundry rooms in here, so this is the only one. Plenty of laundry. Do you happen to know what the best day of the week is to do laundry? Or is it different from hall to hall? I would say it's probably different, but there's always, you'll get on a rhythm of like when most people have tests, the test days. Mm -hmm. And I would say test days are good days because most people, like if you don't have a test, most people are studying or just busy. So it's a good time. For sure. Or late at night. Also good. So here is the office, the front desk. Also, I just want to point this out. We have these um, water bottle fillers, and so it saves plastic. You spring a reusable bottle in them. Would you say a lot of people bring their own bottles? I yes. saw it. Yeah. yeah. I've you, noticed you the always hear them fall in too. class. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so loud. There's metal <laughs> bottles I, every class. You'll hear one hit the floor. Yep. Let's point out the CRE's office, too. Um, yes. She's not here, but she would, tuned in with, the, with us for Gibson, yeah. right? Yes. She was she part of that tour? Grace and CREs are the uh, hall directors essentially. Yes, so that's her office. Um, she's great. Feel free to ask her any questions. But um, also, okay, so here's your mailboxes. But um, packages for Walton will be in like picked up in Gregson. So you'll get an email whenever you have a package, and then you just walk over to Gregson and pick it up. Here's some recycling. We have a competition every spring called Recycle Mania, and. Walton Hall brings it. They do a really good job. In fact, this charging station is a result of their wins one year. That was a prize. Sweet. But this is um, a nice pretty new kitchen area. So whenever you don't want to eat um, in the dining hall, you can always come here and um, use one of the pans that they have and make cookies or pizza or whatever you want be fun just cook for your friends and hang out in here one night and there's a, a table that you can use too so it's always a good option people do that all the time just for fun especially if you have like movie nights or watch parties you can come make popcorn in here and then you can have your watch party in here <laughs> <laughs> big um, common very area very big common yeah. area there's vending machines there's more recycling behind you there's a piano that you can use we do support wireless pay as well. Yes. And our vending. Ping table. There are a lot of really big, really nice common spaces within Walton, but this is just one of them. So I've definitely seen people hanging out here. And there's more sitting outside if you choose to do that. So yeah. Now do you play piano? Oh, um, you know, there's like two or 
two or three songs that my mom <laughs> taught me when I was little oh, yeah. that I can do, but besides that, no. It's more than what <laughs> I can so really do. really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Better than nothing, though. Right, one or two songs. You can pull those out of the yeah. party and impress. <laughs> now we're going to the south side. We'll do the interior side first. Okay. So these rooms are a little different. This is room 133. All of the furniture in here can move, it's all movable. Another single, everything in here is single. It's a lot of space for a single for one person. It's a lot of space. space. In the central part of campus. Yes. A lot of times we get outlet questions. Let's see, one set of outlets, two, three. Oh, yeah? So plenty of outlets. Also, you can see that there's notches on this bed frame, so if you choose to raise this up, you can loft your bed, and then you could even put some of this furniture underneath it or bring a little couch or chair or whatever you want. So that's a good option for a more storage space. You said this is an upperclassman hall, so the people who live here have done it already one year. Yeah. <laughs> they know Pros. They know what they're doing. So for these rooms, they have the community style bathroom, which I will show. to one of the south campus or south south side bedrooms very similar to north side now they used to be a little bit different but renovations have brought them into alignment with each other this way yep right this there way. through the <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know the running joke is that Walton Hall is one of the harder ones to get around, or more challenging ones to navigate. You get used to it eventually. So we're going in 130 right now, and this is outside. It's a little bit different than the north side. So we're going to the north side. So you still have your movable furniture, except for up here, where you have your sink and this built-in. Cabinets and stuff. So much storage. Yeah, there's a ton of storage space. So that's awesome. And um, like I said, these beds wall too. Every room comes with the options that like there's a cable box and remote. So if you want to bring a TV, you can do that. HBO. Yeah. HBO. All the channels. There's also a light above the bed that you can use. It's good for if you study in bed or like to read at night. And then these rooms also connect the bathroom. But it looks just the same over here. Let's let them see the shower. Okay. So they see what this. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Why don't we, just for old time's sake, measure a mattress? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, 
got measurements or anything? Not yet. Yeah, well. Let's see what, what the view's like. <laughs> I just love how close your is. I know, down. literally your neighbor. But you can hear me do a touchdown. Have you all been to football games before? Yes. Of course. So <laughs> of course. And even like from Reed, I could hear and like see all okay, games. It's just my favorite. It's really exciting. Let's see, with every touchdown, isn't there a, a, a rocket or something yeah. goes off? Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. You'll know if you don't go, but definitely yeah. go because they're very fun. Yeah. It's funny to watch TV because. You'll see it, I think you hear it, no, you see it on TV after you hear it. There's <laughs> yeah, like a, a delay. delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always fun. But yeah, um, if there's not any more questions, we can always, you can always feel free to ask us questions afterwards, and we'll go read your comments. But um, I'm glad that I could show you guys around today. Um, our schedule for the other URC Home Live Tours is on the Move-In website, um, so feel free to watch any of those if you'd like. But. I'm glad you guys tuned in. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Yeah.